Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Maffix. Got another video for you guys today. We got this, uh, we got Melon Drive. We showed some of these on on the channel before. It's a Samsung SSD. This is an 860 Evo, and we have it in here for our data recovery. So let's go ahead and check out the symptoms there. Let's go ahead and plug it in, see what's going on. Because I know these ones are always fun, right? Are there SSD drives? It's, it's, it's a shame because they're pretty new for the most part. And it's funny seeing these ones actually come in. Oh, I'm not even connected, so you guys can't see anything. Well, let's plug that in. Get a nice, nice to close to personal for you guys. All right. So plugged it in. Do we hear anything? Is it even on? It is on. So let's see if I can hear anything. Um, what's going on with it? Okay, it took a long time for it to pop up. Uh, let's see what I got here. Anything else? Nope. Just see our main drive, I just have an extra external drive plugged in, but I don't see anything else. So let me go to disk management here. Oh man, from <laughs> froze my whole computer. <laughs> what the heck? I gotta disconnect it, this will be good. It's gonna work now. Right. Okay, well it looks like it froze and it, <laughs> My whole computer, you can see my drives are loading. I have to disconnect it, actually. I don't even know how the recording is going to go because it did freeze my computer. So that's a big problem, right? Most likely that means there's some type of physical issue. Maybe there's a short going on there. Maybe there's a controller issue with the SSD itself there. And that's why it's doing that, right? Because it wouldn't be throwing such a fit. But it's not even connected now. I have, like, other drives connected there, but that's not the main one here. So we can actually take a look at it. Let's go. Um, I'm going to unscrew that. I'm going to see if there's a physical issue with the drive itself. We can maybe put on a thermal cam, see if we can see there's a short or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so we have the drive out. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. It's good it has been opened, which is always a good surprise. It's always nice to see that. So let's go ahead and open it up here. So let's just be this. That's right about it. Okay, so. We have the SSD here. Um, so let's take a look first before we go crazy with this um, and see what's going on, right? So I think let's go into a microscope, uh, see if there's anything obvious because we want to see if there's any uh, damage or maybe there's a controller issue or something there. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so let's go under here and let's see if there's anything obvious before we go too crazy with it, right? Because it's not recognizing. And usually you might have a problem with where the power input is. Well, there could be a short somewhere else there too, or something. So a little solder ball looks like, you see that? The resistor is. Let's take a look here. So there's just camera off. Be like a little solar ball there. Okay. So let's plug it in again. I don't see anything crazy obvious outside of just that. Everything else appears to be okay. Sometimes there can be a short there too, right? If it's not recognizing or something, or be a problem with something else. But let's plug it in. And then from there, I think what would be a good idea would be to use a thermal cam and see if it shows anything obvious. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in and see from there and probably maybe use our um, camera too so disconnect the other drives there too okay we heard that uh, it's just plugged in so it's, <laughs> it's not showing up anything is anything getting warm well I could feel something with my fingers there but nothing's coming up here so let's go ahead and see if the thermal cam is going to see one main area and <laughs> this is a bad view isn't it so it looks like it's the controller but uh, let's go ahead and flip it so here it is there and it looks like that the controller is getting very hot so even based on these symptoms it doesn't necessarily mean that this could be only a problem with the controller it also can be a problem with the NAND itself there let's go ahead and check it out under our software and see what we're getting and it's showing lots of errors and we want to fix that we can do one of two things we can either put a lot of heat on it 
or make it very, very cold. So it would increase the electric transfer inside the chips. So let's go ahead and try our freezing method. Now you can see, you see ice is doing its job. And actually look at that, now it's green. And we're able to actually make our data copy what we're doing from the drive here. And it's not getting the yellow black anymore, which is really good. So we're gonna wait for that to finish. Let's go ahead and check out on the data. Okay, so we can go ahead and see the data. Everything looks to be good and it's actually a lot faster and a lot smoother now. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like, it really just helps a lot. Subscribe for more content. We got lots of liquid spill videos, data recovery videos, lots of other cool stuff on the channel. If you're interested in that, definitely go ahead and check that out. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Take care. Bye.